Hi guys, Lewis here and welcome to this week's version of Piranha Bytes. So, um, getting straight ahead with it. Um, this thing, I didn't anticipate it being as good as it was, um, but it's my first pick because it was that damn good. The last book you'll ever read. Uh, it's Cullen Bunn and he's doing some really great stuff at the moment. Um, I used to, I may have mentioned this before in another one, but I used to underrate the hell out of him because I'm not the hugest Deadpool guy and that's mainly what he was known for. But right now, he's just the guy to go to for horror stuff. Um, we got some recent Broom stuff in that he did some really good stuff with Bone Parish, um, The Unsound. He's mainly known for Harrow County. Um, and yeah, this is like the latest. In fact, he's doing Basilisk at the moment over at Broom as well, which I think was something I uh, highlighted in a previous episode when it first came out. Uh, the issue one anyway. And yeah, this last book you'll ever read, it's really interesting. So basically, the main character is an author. And she's just written this book that is kind of speculating slash explaining that people are kind of scum and evil and we've just been trained by society to hide our primal urges and, you know, the hunter and the killer in us. But it's still there and it's just kind of waiting to leap out and get you. And this book has incited all kinds of violence everywhere and, like, multiple death threats and um, attempts on her life as well. And, um, yeah, just, like, sort of, to solve that she's kind of got a um got a bodyguard and she's going to be going on tour with the book uh, that's all we know so far from the issue one but really cool uh good interesting read so i really recommend that and then next up um weird one for me to say because i normally don't like these characters as well but suicide squad um gave it a shot because it's brian azarello or azarello and malieve actually so double threat for the good creative team there and yeah really good um basically in this like iteration of the team, Jason Todd is the leader of the Suicide Squad, and he's been told by um, Amanda Waller, "You're going to kill the guy that murdered you, the Joker." Um, and yeah, so he assembles his team, and then um, off to kill the Joker, I guess. But really interesting. And Azarello is really great with these kind of characters because he's got a really dark, cynical sense of humor. And if you want to see that, it's best check out Hundred Bullets. Um, it's in an awkward way. Like it's printed in an awkward way now because it's now in an omnibus, but it's one of those Vertigo runs that's kind of a must read, you know, right up there with your Transmets, your Preachers, your Sandmans, whatever else. So check that out as well. But yeah, Suicide Squad, really recommended for this week. And then for my sort of From the Vault Golden Oldie pick, well, it's definitely not Golden Oldie, but either way, Tom Taylor's run on Suicide Squad. Um, best Suicide Squad I've read. Um, there was a, some really cool Alice Cott stuff in New 52 as well, but that lasted like four issues. But this is Tom Taylor, and it's also Bruno Redondo on the art, which is the current creative team behind Nightwing, which I wax lyrical about every time there's an issue out. So, really recommended. And, um, yeah, second Suicide Squad pick in a row, which um, might have something to do with a film being out. Don't know. Um, so yeah, those are the ones I've read that I've really enjoyed, and then like my top picks now that I think will be good that I haven't had the chance to read yet. Uh, Deadpool, Black, White and Blood. Again, not the hugest Deadpool guy generally, but Tom Taylor, he's on it. And at the moment, he's like the King Midas of comics. Everything he touches turns to gold, so I'm willing to give it a chance. Uh, I reckon it'll be good. Check that out. Uh, another Cullen Bun again. Seems I've got some favourite creators. Phantom on the Scan. This has been a really interesting read so far. I've been liking it since issue one. The art's very sienkiewicz -y. And yeah, if you like your paranormal or supernatural stuff, check out this series. Try and get the back issues if you can. Uh, for the Ghost Rider fans out there, Spirit of Vengeance, Spirit Rider. He's not had a comic in a while. Um, there was that mini-series with Danny Ketch a while back that was okay. Um, and also, if you don't count Cosmic Ghost Rider as well, which I don't because it's a different character. Nearly said who, but I don't want to spoil it for those that haven't read it, although you have had years to read it. Um, but yeah, more Ghost Rider if you want to check that out. Uh, new thing from Mirko Randolfo, Sweet Paprika. Um, haven't had a chance to read this yet, but she's another one where everything she does just blows up and uh, becomes insanely popular. And I really enjoyed Unnatural a while back, which was quite an interesting story. Um, it's a bit uh, on the mature or blue side, so I don't want to go into too much detail on here, but check it out if you uh, come across it. And finally, out of the big ones worth I've mentioned this week, X-Men issue 2. So, you know, if you want to keep up with um, 
what's going on on Krakoa, there it is. And also, check out Christian's blog on the Krakoans, because uh, he does some good work there, and he's our expert, so check that out. Um, besides that, for a full list of everything available, check out Dave's newsletter. But apart from that, I'll see you guys next week. Piranha. 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 Piranha.